So darshan with eyes we can get for some time. But we can have darshan with ears, even if altar is closed. How many would like to have darshan with ears? So we'll read something from Sri Chaitanya Chaitamrita. Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami wrote this song. <coughs> Kumkum Apta, Kanchan Abja, Garvahari, Gauraba. Song glorifying Mother Radharani. And in Chetan Chetamrit, he has elaborately discussed about Tattva of Sri Radharani. So, a little bit study and recite from Chetan Chetam. Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya, Jaya Nityananda. Chandra Jaya Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Mahabhava Swarupa Sri Radhi Thakurani Mahabhava Swarupa Sri Radha Thakurani Sarva Guna Khani Krishna Kanta Shuramani Sarva Guna Khani Krishna Kanta Shuramani Mahabhava Swarupa Sri Radha Thakurani Sarva Guna Khani Krishna Kanta Shuramani Mahabhava Swarupa Sri Radha Thakurani Sarva Guna Khani Krishna Kanta Translation and purport by His Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Shira Prabhupada Shira Prabhupada Ki Translation Sri Radha Thakurani is the embodiment of Mahabhava. She is the repository of all good qualities and the crest jewel among all the lovely concerts of Lord Krishna. <coughs> Purport. I think. Okay, forget it. <coughs> Purport. The unadulterated actions of Ladini Shakti is displayed in the dealings of the damsels of Raja and Srimati Radharani who is the topmost participant in that transcendental group. The essence of Ladini Shakti is love of Godhead. The essence of love of Godhead is Bhava or transcendental sentiment. And the highest speech of that Bhava is called Mahabhava. Srimati Radharani is the personified embodiment of these three aspects of transcendent consciousness. She is therefore the highest principle in love of Godhead and is the supreme lovable object of Sri Krishna. This is from Chaitanya Chaitamit Adi Lila. Fourth chapter entitled The Confidential Reasons for Appearance of Sri Chaitanya Mahapu, text number 69. Oma Gyana Timirandasya Gyanjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Vena Tasmai Sri Gurve Namaha Sri Chaitanya Mano Bishtam Stapitam Vena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamayam Tadati Sva Padantikam one day, Sri Guru, Sri Yuta, Padagamalam, Sri Guru, Vaishnavamsha, Sri Rupam, Sagrajatam, Sagana, Ragunatan, Vitam, Tam, Sajivam, Sadvaitam, Savadutam, Parijana, Saitam, Krishna, Chaitanya, Devam, Sri Radha, Krishna, Padan, Sagana Lalita Sri Vishakhan Vitamsha Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prishnaya Bhutale Sri Mate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Nidinamine Namaste Saraswati Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Pashanta Deshatarine 
नमो महावदन्याय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रणायते कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नामिने गौर कुशे नम हे कृष्णा करुणा सिंधु दीनबंधु जगतपते गोपेश गोपिका कांत राधा कांत नमस्ते तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदा मनेश्वरी वृषभानु सुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदा मनेश्वरी वृषभानु सुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदा मनेश्वरी वृषभानु सुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय नीलांचल निवासा नित्याय परमात्मने बलभद्र सुभद्राभ्यं जगन्नाथा ते नम वाचाकूभ्य कृपा सिंधुभ्य पदीता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम जय श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवासदी गौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा सो वी आर वेरी वेरी फॉर्चुनेट ऑन दिस ऑस्पिशियस मोस्ट ऑफिशियस ओकेजन ऑफ राधाष्टमी वी हैव विद अस इस गेस आचार्य रत्न प्रभु हरे गो सो अचे प्रभुजी हैज बीन आवर टीचर्स आई रिमेंबर राइट फ्रॉम माय यू नो द बिगिनिंग ऑफ कृष्णा कॉन्शियसनेस इन आईटी खड़कपुर हाउ ही वाज यू नो टेकिंग सच अ हैवी रिस्पांसिबिलिटी ऑफ यू नो यूथ आउटरीच एंड करेंटली ही इज द चेयरमैन इन स्कॉन न्यू टाउन and he is one of the very big leaders in iskon he has got a wonderful vision for our future future of iskon he is very expert in taking many courses like chapa retreat devotee care courses so he is known for his uh, great depth in spiritual you know uh, realm and also he is a very strict and very exemplary practitioner you know uh, in krishna consciousness so we all derive lot of inspiration from him so it's uh, our great fortune to hear from him on this most auspicious occasion of rajashmi so let us welcome his great acharya prabhu with a uh, very uh, great enthusiasm by chanting one time hare krishna mahamantra hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 राधाष्टमी Today is the happiest day in the calendar of Krishna, and today is very special day. However, I feel extremely unqualified to speak on topic of Shrimati Radharani. So I seek blessings of all assembled devotees, so that I can speak something for my own purification. <coughs> in Chaitanya Chitam, it is said, "Siddhanta bolya chitte na kariyalas." ये है ते कृष्ण लागे सुदृढ़ मानस वी मे सी राधा एंड कृष्ण वर्षिप कृष्ण बट इट्स ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट वी अंडरस्टैंड द सिद्धांत अदरवाइज पीपल मे टेक राधा एंड कृष्ण लाइक अ ऑर्डनरी बॉय और अ गर्ल कृष्ण इज नॉट ऑर्डनरी बॉय कृष्ण इज 
ईश्वर परम कृष्ण सच्चिदानंद विग्रह अनादिर आदिर गोविंद सर्व कारण कारण हिज कॉज ऑफ ऑल कॉजेस हिज सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड एड कृष्ण एंड राधा रानी इज नॉट ऑर्डनरी गर्ल शी इज इंटरनल पोटेंसी लादिनी पोटेंसी ऑफ कृष्ण भक्तिविन ठाकुर सेज आतपर कीर्त सूरज ना जानी राधा विरहित कृष्ण नाही मानी जस्ट एज देर इज नो सच थिंग एज सन विदाउट हीट और लाइट हैव सन सिन सन विदाउट हीट और लाइट हम ने सिन सन विदाउट हीट और लाइट सो सिमिलरली सेड जस्ट एज देर इज नो सच थिंग एज सन विदाउट हीट और लाइट आई डो नॉट एक्सेप्ट कृष्ण हु इज विदाउट श्री राधा because krishna and radha shaktiman and shakti they are always together nobody can separate krishna mm, from radha so radha and krishna are shakti and shaktiman mm. so in today's verse from chetan chetanam brit krishna das kaviraj goswami is saying mahabhava swarup shri radha thakurani sarva guna khai khani krishna kanta shiromani shri radha rani is embodiment of mahabhava she is repository of all good qualities and the crest well among all the lovely concerts of lord krishna so <clears throat> krishna has uh, many energies and chief is uh, his internal potency uh, ladini potency and personification of ladini potencies shrimati radharani mm. so <clears throat> So Shrimati Radharani is a, uh, Aradhana, uh, the best worshipper of Krishna. Radha means one who can worship Krishna in best possible way. All of us can serve Krishna in some way and please Krishna in some way and fulfill some desire of Krishna. But Shrimati Radharani is one who can serve Krishna in the best possible way and fulfill all desires of Krishna. So in that sense, uh, Radha Rani is the top most devotee. Mm-hmm. Not only Radha Rani is the top most devotee, actually, uh, Acharya has explained whatever love and devotion anybody has in this entire material and spiritual world is actually coming from Srimati Radha Rani. Arjuna's love for Krishna, Yashoda's love for Krishna, uh, Hanuman's love for Lord Ram. Mm-hmm. Anybody has any love, mm, devotion, actually, uh, its source of that is Srimati Radha Rani. so in that sense uh, if we want love we have to beg to shrimati radharani mm. so and not only that mm, shrimati radharani is uh, ladini potency means she is a pleasure giving potency whatever happiness krishna achieves is by mercy of radharani mm. radharani is a happiness potency of krishna krishna is happy because of radharani there is no question of happiness without radharani Hmm. similarly all of us also when we serve krishna we get some happiness how many of you are happy when you serve krishna hmm. so that happiness is bestowed by shrimati radharani so nobody can be happy uh, without mercy of radharani shrimati radharani therefore today is such a special day hmm. special day because hmm, shrimati radharani is appearing the personification of happiness lad in potency people are you know, looking for happiness you know, but they don't know who is the source of that happiness so she is the source so we can pray today that we can get drop of love you know, so that with love and devotion we can serve and we can also become happy in devotional service <clears throat> in narad puran it is said satyam satyam puna sat satyam satyam eva puna puna vina radha prasadena mat prasado na vidyate uh, so krishna is telling to narad muni oh my dear narada i tell you truly i tell you truly again and again without mercy of shrimati radharani one cannot attain my mercy ribo hmm? ribo so krishna is telling hmm, that nobody can receive his mercy unless one receives mercy of shrimati radharani mercy of shrimati radharani krishna tab punya ha be bhai krishna tab punya ha be bhai
कृष्ण तब पुण्य हेफाय पुण्य करे जाबे राधा रानी खुशी हे भुआ आती बोली तो माता पुण्य करे जाबे राधा रानी खुशी हे रुआ आती बोली तो माता कृष्ण तब पुण्य हे भाई तब पुण्य हे भाई वेन शिल प्रभात अराइव इन बॉस्टन एंड वेन यू सॉ द सिचुएशन ऑफ पीपल इन अमेरिका हिज हार्ट वॉज क्राइंग विथ टीयर्स ऑफ कंपैशन ही फेल्ट पीपल आर सो मच एंड ग्रॉस इन मोड ऑफ पैशन एंड इग्नोरेंस एंड वॉज थिंकिंग हाउ दिस पीपल विल बी डिलीवर्ड and in that mood of compassion he wrote a beautiful poem mm. this is the poem krishna tab punya habibai he is telling oh i emphatically say to you oh brothers you will obtain your good fortune from supreme lord krishna only when shrimati radhani becomes pleased with you mm. you want mercy of krishna nobody can be mm, happy and successful in life mm, without mercy of krishna and proper saying i emphatically tell you you won't get mercy of krishna unless shrimati radharani becomes pleased with you so when prabhat landed in america and the first song he wrote was this and he's telling everybody krishna tab punya habe bhai krishna tab punya habe bhai krishna tab punya habe bhai करो बे जाबे राधा रानी खुशी हाबे रुआ आती बोली तो माता ये पुण्य कोरी बे जाबे राधा रानी खुशी हाबे रुआ आती बोली तो so krishna is please huh? uh, and krishna showers in mercy when radha is please <coughs> and radha is as we say and we will say source of all uh, happiness source of all bhakti and she is decorated with many beautiful ornaments and especially she is decorated with ornaments of ecstatic symptoms of love for krishna श्वेद कंप कंटक श्रृगदादि संचिता मर्ष हर्ष वामतादि भाव भूषणा चिता कृष्ण नेत्र तोषि रत्न मंडनालिदादि का मय आत्म पाद पद्म दास्य दासुराधिका शी इज ग्रेस्ट विथ एट एक्सटेटिक सिम्टम्स सात्विक भाव सच एज ट्रेम्बलिंग पर्स्परेशन स्टैंडिंग अब बॉडिली हेयर स्टीयर्स फॉल्टिंग अब वॉइस एंड सो फोर्थ she is adorned with different ecstatic emotional ornaments such as impatience joy contrariness and so forth she is decorated with beautiful jewels that give total delight to the eyes of krishna may sri radhika bestow upon me the service of her own lotus feet 
So Radhika is very beautiful and she's also uh, having beautiful ornaments, beautiful dress uh, and one of the most beautiful ornaments are her ecstatic symptoms, <coughs> emotions. So, <coughs> Srila Prabhupada uh, explained how um, sometimes when people come in Krishna consciousness, those who are, uh, they may not, uh, they may hear about Radharani and great devotees and may try to imitate these symptoms. <coughs> so there are two things, there is bhava and there is bhavana. Bhava are genuine uh, e uh, emotions, grounded in intention to serve Krishna. <coughs> and then there is bhavana, external uh, manifestations. So in materialistic person, there is no bhava. <coughs> they don't have any bhava for Krishna <coughs> and they don't have any bhavana also. So they are materialistic, they have no idea. <coughs> And then there are another class of people, <clears throat> they have no bhav in heart, they have no real love um, for Krishna, mm. but they manifest external <coughs> bhavnas, um, external symptoms. They are called as sahajiyas. They take devotional service very cheaply. And, <clears throat> and there are some devotees, they have deep bhav in heart, they have deep love for Krishna in heart, they have deep love, but they don't exhibit externally bhavana, external symptoms. That is a manifestation of dedication in service to Krishna. We see many times great devotees of Krishna like Chitrak, Patrak, and even gopis sometimes when they are engaged in service, so many bhavanas come, feelings, emotions comes, but they check that feeling so that they can, their service to Krishna doesn't get hampered. We see uh, speaker of Srimad Bhagavatam, Sukhdev Goswami, uh, he is filled with love for divine couple Radha and Krishna. But when he is speaking, Srimad Bhagavatam is controlling himself. He doesn't speak the name of Srimadhi Radharani. Because he is afraid, if he just speak, he may become unconscious in ecstasy. And then uh, Bhagavad Katha will be stopped and then Parikshit Maharaj is about to leave his body. So he was concerned that Katha should not stop. So he controlled his emotions. Uh, so he had great power, but he did not manifest it. Uh, <coughs> And similarly, some devotees may have great bhava and they also mm, may manifest some symptoms. Mm, that is authentic ecstasy. Mm, so, <coughs> Srila Prabhupada generally did not uh, externally manifest, but uh, he, he, he traveled around the world distributing this mercy of Krishna. Mm, mm, and <coughs> so, especially Prabhupada was very careful about presenting Srimati Radharani. <coughs> if you see uh, many times in Radhashtami day, uh, he will speak very little about Radharani. Uh, first he will speak glories of Krishna, first understand who is Krishna. And before you understand, first understand who you are. Prabhupada will always tell, unless you understand, you are not this body, you are spirit, soul, atma. There is no question of understanding Srimati Radharani. If you are in bodily concept of life, you may think Radharani and Krishna to be ordinary. Hmm? If you have a bodily concept of life, we may be inflicted by mm, material disease of lust. And when there is lust in heart, there is no question of understanding mm, love and relation between Radha and Krishna. So, beginning of spiritual life is to understand I am not this body and spirit soul. Mm, mm, spiritual life mm, means to understand Krishna is Supreme Lord and goal of life is to develop love for Krishna. When we become free from material desires, uh, when we become free from lust and greed, then we can actually get some idea of what is glory of Srimati Radharani. <coughs> so we see um, all great scriptures glorify the position of Srimati Radharani. In Srimad Bhagavatam, <coughs> when Sukhdev Goswami presented Srimad Bhagavatam to Parikshit Maharaj, he had seven days um, before he could leave this world. And when Sudhya Goswami completed, then his mother Uttara <coughs> asked Parikshit, what did you hear from Sudhya Goswami? Can you please summarize in short form? Then he spoke um, to mother Uttara, essence of Bhagavatam, which is <coughs> presented in form of Brihad Bhagavatam Amrit by Sanatana Goswami. So, in that position of Radharani is explained very beautifully. <coughs> We see <coughs> through the story, Narad Muni is in search of greatest devotee. 
so he comes to kumbha mela prayagraj and he sees there one beautiful very learned uh, sincere humble brahmana great devotee worshiping uh, krishna with so much love and devotion and when narad muni sees his devotional service he is very impressed narad muni is very exalted to impress him is not so easy <laughs> Uh, uh, so when he sees that sincere loving devotional service of that uh, simple devotee he immediately goes and glorifies on that devotee oh my dear brahmana you are externally poor you are simple but you are the topmost devotee you have so much love and you have so much sincerity in your devotional service to krishna mm. he says i think you are the best devotee in um, world i think you are the best recipient of krishna mercy ribo when this devotee hears narad muni glorifying him he feels very humbled he feels embarrassed he says and he says my dear narad muni what are you speaking am i devotee i have hardly any devotion so this is a symptom of a great devotee the uh, great devotee doesn't feel that he has great uh, bhakti in his heart he feels i am not a devotee one who thinks he is a devotee he is actually not a devotee uh, when um, because all devotees uh, including radharani they feel that they have no love for krishna they have no bhakti for krishna hmm? so this brahmana says oh my dear narad muni you are misunderstanding actually i am not a devotee my heart is filled with so many impurities and what is my service my very insignificant service i am doing if you really want to know who is a great devotee who is a great recipient of krishna's mercy you should visit our king we are able to practice devotional service because of him and our king performs so many wonderful sacrifices and he is always engaging all his resources and all his people in service of krishna he is a great devotee so narad muni goes to the king and he sees uh, king engaged uh, with his family with his ministers with all his resources in service of krishna and when narad muni sees generally people are puffed up when they get some material resource uh, but when he sees he is uh, having so much um, wealth and opulence and influence but still he is so uh, humble and devoted so he immediately glorifies king oh my dear king i am so happy to meet you you are the best person you are the top most person the one who has received the greatest mercy of krishna haribo and when he glorifies king king says oh narad muni welcome to my kingdom i am blessed my kingdom is purified thank you but what are you saying i am recipient of krishna's mercy i should have no love for krishna i am just attached to all the materialistic things in this world therefore i am here but if you and what are you talking about my service my service so insignificant if you think of service you can think of indra uh, indra dev is the king of all devtas and is doing service to all the people in this world mm. and when he does sacrifice krishna personally appears uh, to accept the offerings from him and krishna has become his younger brother vaman dev so indra can always get darshan of vaman dev mm, mm, form of krishna uh, so because of his love and devotion uh, uh, uh he is having this wonderful opportunity oh, and my service and my position is very insignificant in front of him so this is another characteristic of a devotee devotee means he always sees other service and glorifies he doesn't think that is a his service is great and he is great devotee and he is not envious of other devotees so when king glorifies indra the so not only goes to indra loka and start glorifying indra oh indra you are so fortunate krishna has accepted you as your uh, as his elder brother and he is always there in your service and whenever you make offering he is personally there to receive mm-hmm. jai jai indra dev ki jai and when indra hears his glorification he feels embarrassed he said oh my dear narad what are you saying i am a devotee i have no devotion mm-hmm. my heart is always filled with material desire and you don't you know how many offenses i have done against krishna hmm i uh, it was i who poured torrents of rain uh, on vrindavan 
and tried to destroy Vrindavan. And Krishna had to leave Govardhan to protect his uh, devotees. And don't you know, when Krishna tried to take Parijat the tree, I fought with Krishna. And I have done so many offenses. Uh, and you are saying I have devotion? I have no devotion. If you are really looking for a devotee who has received greatest mercy of Krishna, hmm, actually you should go to Brahma. Brahma is always absorbed hmm, in meditating on Krishna. Uh, he is Adi Guru. Hmm, he is Guru of everyone. Hmm, and he is always hmm, serving Krishna. So, <clears throat> then Narad Muni goes to Brahmaji and starts glorifying Brahmaji. Oh Brahmaji, you are the person who have received topmost mercy of um, Krishna. Then Brahmaji says, Oh my dear uh, Narada, you are my son uh, and uh, you are glorifying me. Uh, don't you know how many offenses I have done towards Krishna? Uh, many times demons take shelter of me and I empower them. I give blessings and they create so much trouble. Don't you know I blessed Hiranyakashipu and he created so much trouble. Lord had to come as Narsim Dev and kill Hiranyakashipu and then he warned me that I should not give any further blessings to demons. Then I gave blessings to Ravana. He had to come again. So many times I have acted contrary to Krishna will and created so much headache for him. And don't you know when Krishna was playing his childhood past and run down, I stole his coward friends and uh, calves and in that way I have offended Krishna in such a um, dangerous way. And what are you talking mm, that I have some devotion? If I had any devotion, I would never offend Krishna. So in this way, mm, Brahma did not consider himself as a great devotee. Rather, he just focused on his own faults. And then he said, actually, if you want to know who is a devotee, who has received Krishna's greatest mercy, he said, you should go to Kailas. Lord Shiva is the topmost devotee. Vaishnava Nam? Yatha Shambhu. Mm. He is the master of uh, Durga, uh, who is the master of all material world. But she is, uh, he is unattached. She is living under a tree, uh, just chanting the holy names of Lord. Hmm? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So Narada goes to Lord Shiva's abode, Kailas, and he starts glorifying Lord Shiva. And then Lord Shiva says, Oh, Narada Muni, uh, welcome. Mm, mm, to my abode. But what are you speaking? Mm, it doesn't make any sense. You are saying I am a person with the of Krishna's mercy. Don't you know? I am always associated with demonic people. Mm, mm, mm. And don't you know? Banasur and all these uh, states, no? I gave them shelter and I fought against Krishna. Mm. And Krishna had to, you know, mm, then finally somehow I came to say I took shelter of Krishna. So I have been always cause of trouble. Mm. And I have never served Krishna properly. So if you really want to know who is a devotee, better you go to Prahlad Maharaj. Prahlad is one who is always absorbed in thinking of Krishna. Not for a moment he can forget Krishna. So Narayana goes to Prahlad Maharaj and start glorifying Prahlad Maharaj. So Narayana is traveling all over the universe. All these personalities are at different places. No? Brahma, Indra is in Indra Loka, Brahma is in Brahma Loka. You know? Uh, Shiva is in Kailas uh, and our Prahlad is in Sutta Loka. And all, by the way, all of them are still living, huh? huh? All of them are still there. How many of you know Indra is living person? Today also is there, okay? Brahma is also still there. He is 50 years old, okay? He has long life, uh, 311 trillion, 40 billion years. He is just 50 percent life is over now, you know? And 50th birthday, he just celebrated this is the first day now, he's, you know? So, he has a very long life, you know, and Shiva is still alive, hmm? so, and Prahlad Maharaj is also still there, so if you are fortunate, you can meet them, hmm? <coughs> so, and Narad Muni is very well, uh, he is eternal uh, transcendental spaceman, when Prabhupada was giving one time talk in London, um, Prabhupada said, hey, give two asans, uh, they would said, for whom? You know, he said, Narad Muni has come, give him one asana, one for Brahmaji, you know. <laughs> so, these transcendent uh, acharyas are still there, you know. So, one should never feel we are alone. 
<coughs> and one should never feel I am very great dude because all this great devotees are still there. <laughs> that much great. So Narad Muni went from no, Kailas to Sutra Loka. Mm -hmm. And uh, there Prahlad Maharaj there mm -hmm. along with Bani Maharaj. And started glorifying Prahlad. And Prahlad said, oh my dear uh, spiritual master, uh, whatever little devotion I have is by your mercy. I was going towards hell but somehow you saved me. Mm -hmm. And what bhakti I have, I am born of a demoniac father, you know, and I don't know what is bhakti. Mm. And what, you see, mm, um, Narsimhadeva appeared, mm. but what service did I do to him? I did not do any single uh, drop of service to him. What is meaning of bhakti without service? And I have not done any service. Uh, so what is meaning of my life, you know? So he said, actually, if you want to know who is a devotee, who has received Krishna's great mercy, you should go to Hanumanji. Hanumanji is always serving Lord. Mm. He can't even for a moment uh, sit peaceful. He is always engaged in um, service of uh, Supreme Lord. So then, Narumani goes to Hanumanji and starts glorifying Hanuman. My dear Hanuman, your bhakti has no comparison. Mm. You are so powerful, but you are so humble. And uh, you never get puffed up and you will always give credit to the mm, Supreme Lord. Jai Sri Ram, always, you know. And <clears throat> your enthusiasm to serve is great. So you are the person who has received the greatest mercy of Supreme Lord. Harmanji says, my dear Narad Muni, what are you saying? I am a devotee. Uh, if I would be devotee, I would not be alive uh, and just in separation of Lord and still I am maintaining my life. I have no love for Lord. And what is my service? Mm. Mm. So, if you really want to know who is devotee, he said, you should go to Pandavas. <laughs> because Pandava, Pandava is such a great devotee that Lord cannot forget. Lord is always thinking of, wherever Lord is there, he is always thinking of Pandavas. And he is becoming their servant. I am struggling to become servant of Lord, but Lord is trying to become servant of Pandavas, you know. And he is becoming their messenger, he is becoming their chariot driver. He is you know, uh, always staying um, with them. Wherever Pandavas, they are in, they are in forest, he is going to forest. They are in Hastinabal, he is going to Hastinabal. Always there. Uh, his mind is always with Pandavas. So, if you should go to Pandavas. They are the actually people who have received greatest mercy. And we see Narad Muni goes to Pandavas uh, and he starts glorifying Pandavas. Uh, Yudhishthira Maharaj, Arjun, Kunti Maharani. What a devotion they have. But then Pandavas say, Are, what is this, you know? Only when we are in trouble, we remember him. <laughs> Only when we are in trouble, Lord comes. Uh, and now we have become kings uh, and then Lord has left us. Uh, actually, that time when Narad Muni went, Yudhishthira Maharaj and all this were planning uh, how to create some calamity so that Lord will come. <laughs> <laughs> so they said, I don't, uh, no. So, we are what kind of devotee we are? We are not proper devotees. Actually, you see, Dwarkavasis, they are actually real devotees of Lord. So, Lord is always there in Dwarka. So, Narumni goes to Dwarka, Jai. I will fast forward, okay? And then among Dwarkavasis, the topmost devotee is Uddhava. Mm. And Narad Muni started glorifying Uddhava. You are such a great devotee. You are a disciple of Braspati. You are most intelligent and you are the confidential servant of uh, Lord Krishna. Krishna. You are the counsel of Krishna also. When Krishna is in doubt, he consults you. And you become messenger of Krishna. Mm. Krishna send you to Rundavan to give his message. You are such a great devotee. Buddha says, what great devotee I am, you know. I have no devotion. And we were saying that time, I was sent as a messenger. Actually, Krishna wanted to tell me what is love. So he sent me to Rundavan. And when I went to then I realized I have no love. Uh, maybe everybody thinks I am great devotee. And I was also popped up that I am great <coughs> devotee. But when I went to Rundavan, and especially when I met Vrachavasis, when I met Mother, Yashoda, when I saw Nanda Maharaj, when I saw gopis, I realized actually I don't have iota of love for Krishna. You are looking for devotees 
actually vrajavasis are real devotees mm-hmm. and then he said when i met them and saw their devotion i prayed that may i become uh, laid up grass in vrindavan so that this vrajavasis can step over me so that i can one day get that bhakti that love for krishna so then narudni goes to vrindavan and glorifies gopis so gopis are considered top most devotees in the entire material and spiritual world and among gopis shrimati radharani is top most devotee so when we are talking of shrimati radharani is not just ordinary uh, she is the mother of devotion she is source of all love and uh, she is being glorified by all acharyas and actually uh, this con- subject matter of radha and krishna's love is very confidential and uh, very difficult to understand for conditioned souls and for even liberated souls it is great mercy of sri chetan mahaprabhu that we are getting a glimpse of some understanding of shrimati radharani's position yadi gar na hoi to tabe ki hoi to ke mon dhari tande धार महिमा प्रेम रस सीमा जगते जाना तके यदि गौर न हो तो तब के हो तो के मोन धरी तांदे यदि कोन होय तो तबे के होय तो के मोन धरी तांदे सो यदि गौर न होय तो इफ लॉर्ड गौरंग वुड नॉट हैव कम तबे तू होय की होय तो व्हाट वुड हैपन राधार महिमा प्रेम रस सीमा हु वुड हैव अंडरस्टूड द ग्लोरीज ऑफ श्रीमती राधानी who is a prem ras sima the uh, pinnacle of uh, love jagat janat ke who would understood uh, these glories so <coughs> shri chaitanya mahapu shri krishna chaitanya radha krishna nayanya so chaitanya mahapu radha and krishna combined together and he is coming especially uh, to explain the love of rajavasis love of gopis and especially uh, ex- love of shrimati radharani so radharani is <coughs> we can understand about it by mercy of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu and one can receive mercy of chaitanya mahaprabhu by mercy of nityananda and this gornita who are very merciful they are giving access to radharani krishna by chanting hari krishna hari krishna 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 hari hari Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. So Hare Krishna is a prayer. Hmm. So Hare means Radha Rani. O oh, Mother Hara, O oh, Radha, please engage me in Lord's service. So Hare Krishna Mahamad is prayer. So we can pray to Radha Rani that we can be engaged in service of uh, Gopi, Radha Gopi Vallabha. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram. Shri Radha Gopi Vallabh Ki Jai Shri La Prabhupad Ki Jai Let's give a big round of applause to his kids.